Hello, dear ones. It's Julie Hedges live on the tarot journey with a cosmic conversation for your Sunday, July 21st, 2019. I know it's been a while since I've come to you live with my little updates, but I thought that um, it would be a good idea to come to you today. So it is a very hot and steamy Sunday. I just tried to go for a little walk in the park uh, down by the river and um, it was very very hot I could only do about 12 minutes of the routine that I wanted to do and so now I'm sitting in the shade and I've been thinking about my walk hello Neshi thanks for top stopping in today I appreciate it and everyone else coming on board whenever and however you are on the tarot journey thank you for joining me for this cosmic conversation. One of my favorite astrologers, Dr. Michael Lennox, shared today about um, an important um, stellar formation going on today. It's the conjunction or the meeting of the sun and Mercury in retrograde. And so um, he shared a little bit about that, but I'm going to talk about what it means for us, what it's really doing for us. Now, if you want to see his um, his little live stream, you can go to the Evansville Area Astrologers Facebook group and it is posted in there. So what is going on today? You know, it's so hot. We're in the almost dog days of summer here. So what we're talking about is the meeting of the sun, which is our consciousness, and the meeting of Mercury in retrograde, which is how we think and how we communicate and how we learn. So our mental processing. So these two forces are meeting up in the sky and it is an important part of the cycle of Mercury retrograde. So just kind of set the scene a little bit. The sun um, only goes forward, right? And we follow the sun. We take 365 days to go around the sun. Mercury is a real fast mover. Hi Barbie, thanks for coming on today for my cosmic conversation on the tarot journey. So Mercury goes really fast, only 88 days to go all the way around the sun. So from our vantage point at m several times of the year, it appears that Mercury is going backwards, but what he really is doing is going so fast that it looks like he's lapping us. So he has to go around and before he goes forward again. And so in his cycle of going forward and then retrograding, because he moves so fast, we're talking about Mercury, um, he moves so fast that um, in his lapping, there's a point when like two ships passing in the night, going in opposite directions, they meet. And so that is the meeting of the sun, our consciousness that overlights us. Hi, Annette. Thanks for dropping in on the tarot journey, this cosmic conversation. So the sun going forward, our consciousness, and Mercury going backward, the way we think, the way we learn, the way we communicate is coming backward and they meet. And so the significance of this is Mercury says, hey, I've been there. I know where you are going. Mercury is saying this to the sun. I know where you are going. I have a message for you. I have an insight for you. I have a vision for you. I have important information for you. I have something curious, a curious nugget for you. Because as we um, see, Mercury is so fast, he moves so fast, he covers a lot of territory. So at the point in his orbit, he was ahead of us. And so he's marching back. And so he's brought some wisdom back with him from where he was. So that learning part, that message part, that communicating part has gathered some information and insight and is going to bring it to our consciousness. You know, it is so hot here and 
the sun is behind the clouds at the moment, but when it came out, as I was trying to do my little walk here at the, at the park, it was so hot and so illuminating that all around me, these beams of light, and so that's what the sun is, all around us, this conscious beam of light. But Mercury, our mind, that can go so fast. Thank you, Neshi. I love cosmic conversations, too. Our mind moves so fast that it can go out and grab information and bring it back. And so that's what Mercury is doing right now. He's grabbed information from the place that we are going and he's bringing it back. And so meeting with our consciousness to say, hey, I have a message for you. I have some insight. I have a vision. And so on this day in particular, and maybe perhaps yesterday and maybe tomorrow and maybe a little bit the following day on Tuesday, there might be something popping up for you, like a popcorn kernel getting so hot that it finally pops and reveals the popcorn inside. So this might be some brand new information um, or it may be a completion of something that was started before and is just now finally popping like that popcorn kernel got so hot now with this message it, it's um, I want to say that that it's very spontaneous and very easy so don't try too hard just be aware just be open to okay whatever messages that I need for my conscious exploration of life let them come to me because, hi Becky, thanks for dropping in on this cosmic conversation. So these messages that might come to you, might be more than one, uh, but definitely expect one. They will be so fast and fleeting. So don't expect a well-crafted paragraph with the annotated footnotes and figure A and appendix B. So don't expect all of that. It will just be a very quick flash, maybe a visual. Maybe you see a word on a billboard. Of all the billboards that you've passed as you are driving, just this one word, or this picture, maybe a decal sticker on the back of the car in front of you that is just swerved to um, go through the light or something along those lines. Or you're in a restaurant and you're walking to your table with the, um, the hostess and you pass by a table and you hear two or three words that are not your conversation, but you hear them and you're like, oh, that's a sudden insight for you. Or maybe it's um, a song that just turns on right at the key moment where those lyrics um, bring you some insight or the melody sparks something inside you of a feeling, of a, of a remembrance. So that's the nature of this insight we're talking about and I've got bugs galore here another piece of that when we're talking about insights when we're talking about um, a sensation or a visual the nature of that is going to be um, very much in the watery realms the feeling realms so it may not come in words it may be a very watery kind of picture or um, a watery kind of emotive um, intuition. Something that is like a wave rolling in, like the tide. So because both of these elements, both the sun and Mercury, are traveling right now in the mansion of Cancer. And Cancer is that watery sign all about feeling, all about nurturing and safety and family in our root system. So it's, it's deep inside and in our bodies, yes, all of the stars and the planets and constellations are associated with parts of our bodies. And so the mansion of Cancer is located in our stomach, which is right underneath our rib cage, and the breasts. So it's all in this area of our heart center. So those places in us that 
need nurturing and how we need to be nurtured and how we nurture others. So it's calling to mind and to our consciousness. There's another bug. Um, those, those parts inside of us. So a message coming to you might very well be in the form of sensation or emotional insight or a picture or a memory, very much a memory. But the whole um, premise of this is Mercury has been ahead and is on his way back, turning inward, going deep within and says, I have a message for you. I have an insight for you. I have something that you need to know. I have been where you are going. And here is a nugget for you. Here's a sudden explosive insight for you. Here is something soft and gentle, but you need to know to be supported in where you are going. Both of these planets today, both the Sun uh, and Mercury, are at 28 degrees of Cancer. And so that is at the, the final few uh, degrees of the sign. So it's finishing up. It's finishing up the mansion of feeling, finishing up the mansion of needing to look at safety and security. So the sun is going to go on into the next mansion of Leo, which is about creativity and about um, gregariousness and, uh, and about um, expressiveness and, and following all of those wonderful um, creative ways of expressing. But Mercury is on his way back and is going to go even deeper into the mansion of Cancer, the place of feeling, the place of how are we safe, how are we nurtured, what we need to be, what we need in order to be nurtured and how we nurture others. So that's kind of going inside to, what do we say about those retrograde words? To refocus, re-examine, rethink, uh, reevaluate, all those RE words for retrograde. So that is a very quick cosmic conversation on the tarot journey today. So thank you for joining me whenever and wherever you are on your particular journey and I hope you enjoy this beautiful sacred Sunday and if you feel like it can get out in nature a little bit I am in the shade but this nice breeze and I've got the river behind me and the sun is out and and it is a very wonderful day a beautiful day and so on this trip that we are taking together on the third rock from the sun here on planet earth from my heart to yours may the peace that surpasses all human understanding be with each and every one of you om shanti